Y'all ever shot for tires for your truck? Yeah, me too. Why is it so hard? So many factors, so many places to get them. Some use the ratio size, some just use the inches size. What are we doing out here? What have we done? Where are we going with this tire purchasing process? And I'm super picky too, so that doesn't help. Like I like my tires to kind of have an old school feel. Like I don't love the like crazy bogger style or I don't really love Nitto. They're cool as hell, but they don't really like, they're not really old school. Then I don't want to spend a ton. I'm trying to, you know, get it get four of them right around $300 a tire. I don't know if I'm be able to do that, but I'm I'm not a wealthy per I'm no Warren Buffett. I'm more like a just a buffet. The Silverado has 18-inch rims. I've never shot for 18-inch rims. I shot for 17s, 16s, 16.5s. So, I looked at everything. Interco, Pro Comp, yeah, I looked at Nittos. I looked at General Grabbers. None of them I would love, or they didn't have them in the size I want. Oh, I wanted 35s, because I didn't think I could fit 37s. I, I looked, I listened to some of you guys online. Remember, I'm not lifting it. I just leveled it. I don't like it way up. I'm sticking with 35s, but I wanted them to still be cool and somewhat old school. For the record, my favorite tire of all time are just the old old school like firestone snow tires do you remember those or the interco cobalt like they're just they almost look like tractor tires those that's what i'd like but something modern so i looked forever without further ado as if you're waited on bated breath to begin with i went with maxis trepidors they make a really cool size in the 18 inch rim mo 99 percent of the tires out there that are 35s are on a 12 5 width 12 and a half inch width i found 35 by 13 r18 so they're just a little bit wider you know a little bit more girth when you're plowing through it that's what you want Yes, I did have to trim a little on the inner fenders, both the front and the back. There's a lot of people with videos out there on this. There's just a little metal bracket that's completely unnecessary that's at the back of the wheel well. You just take it out and then trim the carpet fender stuff. And then in the front, you can just trim all this carpet fender stuff out of the way. They still do rub a tiny bit when it's full cranked and you hit a big bump on this bracket that you can't take off because it's attached to the frame and it's for something robust and yes i did use wheel spacers just to get them out away from the inner guts a little bit i did a whole nother video on wheel spacers they're easy you could... so that's what i ended up with here's a couple sites you can try i got mine from the devil sorry guys i've never had a good experience with this company so that's it. Buying tires is hard, but I love, absolutely love it. I will sit for hours and just look through tires and try to find the right price and size and tread pattern. And it's amazing. I know you do it too. You're supposed to be at work. You're supposed to be working at work. What are you doing? Looking for tires. I'm with you. I, I do too. 